Late today, a new study finding Omicron spreading two to three times faster than Delta and that the risk of being reinfected with Omicron is more than five times higher than being reinfected with the Delta variant, essentially showing just how transmissible this variant is. The famous Rockets Christmas show at Radio City the whole season just canceled. And tonight, a number of big games moved this weekend because so many players are sick. Long lines across the country for testing today, from New York to Maryland, from Miami to Houston, people waiting in line and in their cars, obviously concerned about exposure, even in line, as they now prepare for the holidays with loved ones. Complicated, though. Why not just make them free and give them out to, and have them available everywhere? Should we just send one to every American? Maybe. Then, then, what, ha then what happens if, you, if every American has one test? How much does that cost, and then what happens after that? All I know is that other countries seem to be making them available for in greater quantities for less money. Well, I think we share the same objective, which is to make them less expensive and more accessible, right? Uh, every country's gonna do that differently. This is starting to feel familiar, isn't it? Another winter rocked by COVID-19. The Omicron variant is racing across the country with almost all 50 states reporting cases of the variant. New York is already bracing for what could be a rough season ahead with lines for COVID testing hours long and at-home tests nowhere in sight. Broadway shows are canceling performances. The NHL and NFL are postponing games. As 2022 races towards us, COVID is going absolutely nowhere. And yet, our government, the antidote to Trump, is once again caught on their back heels when it comes to a legitimate response. Remember just last week when Press Secretary Jen Psaki mocked a reporter for asking why the government couldn't send at-home rapid tests to every American? Well, after searching myself in over five local CVSs, a Wegmans, and a Walgreens to no avail for any at-home tests, I really wish the press secretary would stop mocking us. To be fair, in the wake of this backlash against Saki, the government has said that they will be sending at-home tests to all Americans next month just shy of the holiday season. Many people online have joked that if they weren't COVID positive before standing online for hours for a test with others concerned about their COVID status, they probably are now. The White House also put out a pretty disturbing statement on its website saying, quote, for the unvaccinated, you're looking at a winter of severe illness and death for yourselves, your families, and the hospitals you may soon overwhelm. Now, some of you may think that that's an awesome, forceful gotcha to the unvaccinated, but let me be clear, this language from the White House is not acceptable. Sure, there are many anti-vaxxers who publicly decry the vaccine's effects, but there are also thousands of marginalized, disabled, and elderly people who haven't had access to the vaccine or any helpful public education around it. On top of that, to book a vaccine or a booster appointment, you have to be incredibly technologically literate. It took me searching and filling out forms for almost three hours just to get an appointment, and then the appointment was mysteriously canceled twice. The government needs to step up and help people, not blame them, with at-home testing kits and vaccine clinics on every corner. But there's also a lot we can do. If you have an elderly person in your life, check in and help them make their appointment. If you know someone who doesn't use technology, help them book their appointment. In the face of COVID year three, it's time to stop with the unhelpful rhetoric and take this into our own hands, into our communities, our neighborhoods, and our families. It's clear the Biden administration probably isn't going to. Thanks so much for watching and stay safe out there. You can follow me on all platforms at Caro Johnson 917.